creating MySQL based WP data tables. MySQL is the most popular database engine on the web because it's free, because it supports uh, huge databases and if you use it uh, wisely, it's doing all the operations with data in these huge databases really quickly and effectively. Also WordPress itself runs on MySQL, so it's pretty much native for a WordPress tool such as WP Data Tables to support MySQL. Also MySQL is the way to go if you have a huge data set, which will be mentioned in the next tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we will just go through creating MySQL based WP Data Tables in general. So to uh, create a MySQL based WP Data Table from a data source, you need to have this data source, of course. So you already need to have a table on MySQL side. In this tutorial, we are going to use this uh, dummy employees table. I've prepared a dump. Also, you can download this dump uh, from our from our site. Really, uh, what is a dump? Basically, it's uh, a file used for importing data from one MySQL installation to another. Uh, it's a number of uh, number of inserts, number of insert statements, which uh, first create the table with a given structure and then insert the data. Right here we have something like a hundred of rows, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I will show you how to import this dump using a PHP My Admin tool. If you are uh, working, if you have some experience with web development, you are of course familiar with PHP MyAdmin because it's an excellent tool for managing MySQL servers, databases, tables, data in these tables on, and whatever. So uh, you don't have to use this SQL dump, you can use your own uh, tables. Uh, I will just show it for users that have no previous experience to go really step by step uh, to explain how this works. So first of all, you need to make sure you have PHP MyAdmin installed, which uh, I guess all of the modern hosts provide this and all of modern uh, packages that you can use on your local host, such as MUMP, WAMP or whatever. So go to your local host where you have, or the host where you have WordPress with WP data tables installed and open the PHP MyAdmin tool then open the database that you previously configured on WP Data Tables site to be used for the queries. If you didn't configure this, uh, it will use the same database as your WordPress. So we can just go and open this, uh, this database. In our case, this is the WP Data Tables database. Okay, so here you can see all the MySQL tables that already exist, but we are going to import uh, a dump. So we go to the import tab, and then go to choose a file, and here is our dummy employees.sql dump file. So we just open it and click on go, and it will execute all the statements that are in this file, it will create the table, and import all the data in this. So uh, here is a table called dummy employees. And we have how many? I guess 100, yeah, 100 of rows with birth dates, date hired, position, last name, first name, and ID. Uh, right here, you can already see the uh, query that returns all the rows from this table. And this is actually the query that we will need. So we will just fetch all the data from, uh, from our table and use it in the WP data table. So you can try to build it yourself. Select everything from dummy employees. You can copy it. Uh, you, see, you see that it works and it returns the data that we need. It can also be more complicated, like select everything from dummy employees where first name is not like Conan, for example, or where birth date is between year 19070 and 19085, etc. But here we'll use just a very simple query not to complicate things. Okay, so this is the first step, prepare the data source as for all the WP data tables that are created from data uh, sources. 
Right now, this step is finished, so we just go to the dashboard of our WordPress, go to WP Data Tables app from data source, and we say MySQL table example. In this case, we use the MySQL query as the table type, and you see we uh, have a SQL editor here. I've copied our query, so you can just paste it here, or you can uh, create it here. I just recommend before you paste your queries, try it first in PHP My Admin and see if it actually returns something. Otherwise, you can get no data on WP Data Table side or SQL syntax problems. Um, it's hard to debug from here, much easier to understand why it's not working on PHP My Admin side because you can see the database structure. So we don't need to do anything else on this step, just quick save. WP Data Tables queries the SQL server if it returns any data, and if it returns, you can see that it reads the column structure and it guesses the data types. So it guesses that these two are dates, that these are strings, and this one position is also a string. Um, Right now the table is already done and ready for use. I just think it's not nice to see the ID in the front end, so we just untick the visible checkbox. Sorry, I needed to save. Now we will see the ID in the preview. But if I click save, and we save the table, then click on preview once again. Uh, you can see that there is no ID here and that all of our data is already here. Let's do some fine tuning for the table. I guess it will look nicer if we have some uh, more readable displaying headers. First name, last name. Then I think for the dates, it's much better to have date range filters instead of simple strings. And then And for position, I guess it will be nice to have a select box filter. So now we save and preview once again. See the table is same, but now we can filter the position using nice drop down. We can also filter uh, the values in the uh, in the table using these date range pickers. So now we see that our table is all set. We just need to insert in our WordPress post or page or whatever uh, we want it. I'll go create a new page. Say my SQL based WP data table example. And say here's the list of employees. You can click on the WP Data Table button here and choose our table that we created. Click OK, click Publish. And click View Page to see the page in the front end. And you see here is the list of employees. And everything that we prepared is here. We can filter, we can sort, etc. Uh, not very complicated. In this example, we are not using server-side processing, which means that once uh, MySQL returns these hundreds of rows, they're passed to WP Data Tables, then WP Data Tables inserts these hundreds of rows, these hundreds of rows in the page and generates the table on the client side. But if, uh, if we want to use, uh, if you want to use the uh, WP data tables with a really large data set which has 10,000s of rows or 100,000s of rows, we would need to use server side processing feature, uh, which means that we will always fetch only 10 records or 20 records at a time and do all the sorting, filtering, pagination on the server side. This is the topic of our next tutorial. 
One more thing I wanted to mention here, if you're not familiar with MySQL and you don't want to study uh, how to prepare the queries for the, uh, for the table, you can either use uh, the WP table constructor to create the tables completely manually from WordPress admin panel, or if you already have a, a MySQL table that you just don't know how to query correctly, you can also use WP Data Table Constructor to try to construct a MySQL query. We have a query generator built in there, and we have, of course, a tutorial on how to use it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorials. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.